sacrificial offering all the way to today, <laughs> the last day. We got, if, you, if you didn't come prepared today, Sunday to give, if you make sure that we get it in the next couple of weeks, then uh, they'll make sure that it all gets together. Our goal is $3,200, so if you be praying for what God can have you give, be faithful to give it for that. Okay, also, uh, thank you to all those who helped out with the uh, bottle of water for the high school troubadours, that's the marching band. Uh, we need 100 bottles of water each week uh, throughout the football season. You guys have been faithful with that. If you'd like to help us out, bring them to church with you. You can put them in our car or behind our car, or you can drop them off at our home, uh, whichever way be uh, great with us. Okay? Also, on Wednesday, uh, 6.30, praise band rehearsal. 7 o'clock is uh, our choir praise team rehearsal. If you're interested in being a part of that, you'll see Tina and Carrie. They will give you all that information. Zoom, Bible study every Sunday and Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Uh, Brother Nate does that. If you have any questions, would like to be a part of that, we more about it. See Brother Nate, uh, he'll give you that information. Also, Sunday School Bible Study, opportunity to start back next Sunday. Next Sunday starts at 9 o'clock. Uh, uh, the way things are going to, is that the last lesson we have up there? The way things will work out uh, as we stand now. Sunday School will start back next Sunday at 9 o'clock, all right? I've had nobody to tell me as teachers that. They're not comfortable teaching now. I need to find somebody else or anything. So if you are in that category to where you're teaching a Sunday school class and you don't feel comfortable teaching or not wanting to teach, continue to teach, do this, it's understandable. I just need you to let me know so that we can make sure that we have someone in your class uh, this particular Sunday. Uh, I've had questions about how it's going to work. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, i just be honest with you. The, the, this is the only way that it can, can work, and it's going to be up to you whether you're going to come to Sunday school or not. If you if you choose not to come to Sunday school, it's okay. Nobody's going to uh, think bad of you or anything else, all right? Uh, if you just choose to come to worship on Sundays for a while, that's fine as well. Sunday school will work uh, with, if you feel like you need to wear a mask, wear a mask, okay? If you're teaching and you're a teacher and you feel like you need to wear a mask, teaching, wear the mask, teaching, okay? Uh, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things uh, in your Sunday school class. One, make sure... Uh, that you contact the folks in your Sunday school class and, and make sure that they're comfortable, that they don't need some things or if there's some concerns there, uh, if there's any concerns there uh, that they may have, all right? Um, if, if you can, make sure that you bring hand sanitizer. There's hand sanitizer spread out uh, through the sanctuary. Uh, I don't know that we have enough. We may be able to uh, obtain enough to get into the Sunday school classes, but to be on the safe side, I uh, hope that you've gotten in the habit of bringing your own hand sanitizer, keep it in your pocket. Do that. Uh, clean your hands, wash your hands, those types of things. If your children need to wear masks, if you want them to wear a mask, ask them to wear a mask when they go uh, to Sunday school, okay? Uh, teachers, I'm gonna ask you uh, during the Sunday school time, uh, no snacks whatsoever, okay? Uh, I know that sounds silly, but no snacks of any kind. I don't care if they're packaged up. Just for right now, we're starting out. Don't give any snacks out. No food, no drinks, no anything like that, all right? Um, we can get through an uh, hour of Bible study, hopefully with no snacks, all right? And we're going to continue to ask no coffee be served uh, in the uh, fellowship hall until we get things back to where we know everything's going to be okay or we feel like things are going to be okay. Uh, the ice machine is on right now. Uh, if you want us to help empty the ice machine, you can do that. But we're going to cut the ice machine back off, all right? And I know that sounds silly, but I don't know, and neither will you, who will go in and stick their hand in the ice machine. And that, I know that may sound worse to some of you, but guess what? I've been back there before, walked in the kitchen, and somebody had the ice machine open up and just stuck their hand in there and got them some ice out. Right? You're, you're, you are at home, but you're not at home. All right? I used to tell people, treat this place like it's your home, and I quickly realized, no, 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 don't do that. All right? uh, so the ice machine will be cut off. There will be no more ice in the ice machine. Uh, until uh, we reach a point to where we feel comfortable doing it. The, the water fountain is going to be cut off. It's unplugged back there, so when you go to push the button, there's not going to be any water to come out. So if you need to bring some water, bring your bottle of water. Uh, if you want to bring your own coffee, bring your own coffee. If you want to bring your own snack, if you have to have a snack, for whatever reason, bring your own snack uh, that, that you can eat. Uh, just be mindful, if you send your child to Sunday school with all these snacks and the other children don't, then it's not going to be real fun for them. Okay? Uh, so, uh, try to use that uh, uh, wisely, okay? Uh, there's not going to be any Sunday night service for right now. 
And some people say, well, that's kind of silly because we're going to do Sunday school Sunday morning. We can do Sunday night. There is going to be Wednesday night. No. Not. See there? Uh, maybe, we should, maybe I should say, I'm sorry. We will do Sunday night. <laughs> still sending out why because here's the thing that they still some are still sticking to that if the virus is uh, uh, in the air or on the surfaces 72 hours is the longest as that it's supposed to be able to survive all right so you go to Sunday school all right? when you go to Sunday school uh, there's not going to be any uh, children care after service care so there's not going to be a nursery no uh, you know any kids being kept in the back after Sunday school uh, at all, and it's, someone said, "Well, why not?" Because here's the deal: if something, if 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 someone calls and says, "Hey, we just tested positive for the virus. We were at church Sunday," um, then we will be able to target what area they were in, what room they were in. If it's a child, if they're going to go to Sunday school and then they're going to go to children's church, no children's church right now, and we're going to send them to children's church and we're going to send them to aftercare, then we have a whole group of people that's going to be exposed to it and we'll have to try to contact all of them to do that. So we're going to try to, to do this smart. If there is an outbreak, we're going to be able to target that outbreak. Sunday school, you're not going to be out here. You're going to be in Sunday school. Then you're going to come out here Wednesday night. Everything will be clean. 72 hours will have passed and you can come out here and go back into the class. There should not be any uh, virus remaining. Around. So that's our thinking behind it. Um, is it perfect? No. Is it flawed? Probably. Is there better ways to do it? Probably. But this is the best that we can come up with right now. And as we see that there's not going to be some outbreaks and people are comfortable moving forward, then we'll start moving forward a little, uh, a little bit at a time. Okay? Uh, so that's what's going to take place starting next Sunday. Sunday school, worship service, and then Sunday nights. Okay? And then we'll move closer. Uh, Wednesday night, excuse me. Wednesday nights, but I thought, I don't know, Wednesday nights, yeah. All right, any other announcements that we need to make? Um, just, I, want, I know we just, we just drive past Myers Mallory Mission Offer, but I just want to say I did talk to Brian last, yesterday because I don't get the numbers anymore since we're not doing the bulletin, and we've only got a little over a thousand dollars, y'all. We've never missed a goal, so I know that it's just harder with us, you know, all being here in different spots as people are giving online because they haven't felt comfortable enough to come back, but Guys, help me spread the word. The theme for this time is, you know, more than ever before, I encourage everybody to go on and look at the videos from the missionaries, what they're asking for. So um, if you haven't given yet, um, you know, I would just encourage you to do so and help spread the word just in case there are people that aren't aware of, of what we're doing. So I would hate for us to miss a goal. It's never happened before. And, I, and um, anyway, I know it's not going to, but um, anyway, just want to make sure everybody knows where we are. So if we have to extend it one more week, we will, but I hope we can get that today. All right. Anything else? Silver Eagle. Silver Eagles meeting, Silver Eagles, about this, the Silver Eagles meeting. Yeah, but right now that, that's going to be on hold for just a little bit until we get some other things back. Well, it's, hey, listen, the next couple of months, I'm hoping if we keep training the way we are, we're going to be back to where everything's going to be good, okay? Uh, everything's going to be good, so uh, hang in there with us. Any other announcements? Uh, just a question. What okay. about the children playing with toys? Children playing with toys? Mm -hmm. No, if, if we can prevent that, then let's do that, okay? So if you have children that are coming to Sunday school, don't send toys with them either uh, for them to play with. You're going to have to keep them out here. And listen, another thing, spread the word uh, to some of our younger parents who have children. It, it doesn't bother me one bit that children are out here, okay? It, it doesn't at all. Uh, you know, I, I, I've had people come up to me and say, oh, we're sorry for this, that. I, unless you do something to get my attention, you don't get my attention, okay? Right? You, you really got to do something to... to draw my attention to you when I'm up here preaching. I don't care when kids say things or do things, and guess what? And I don't care if they do, all right? So if your kids move around a little bit, we had kids too that are moving around, it's all right. It's okay, if they, if they talk, they talk, it's fine. Uh, tell them to encourage them to come on with their kids. If they feel comfortable, they can still bring them out here. Nobody's gonna be mad at them if their child, quote, disrupts the worship service. I've disrupted to me services that they got a long way to go to catch up with me. So any other questions real quick? We got something else we need to do real quick, okay? We need to have a quick business meeting, all right? Uh, if, if, if you can stay through it, fine.
expanding. 